Hi everybody, Greg Seaman here and I want to play some licks for you that are from my book Improvisation for Blues and Rock Guitar. In the book there are 16 licks that I've written out in the, uh, in, uh, they're actually in A minor, in the A minor pentatonic shape and you can hear them on the CD that comes along with it and I play the licks slow and then I play them faster on the CD. Um, so I'm using the A minor pentatonic scale this is just the basic scale form. This is, if you look at my book, this is one of the five scale shapes that are written on the master scale page. And it's the one that's used so often, it goes like this. And that's the second one of the five. That's, um, and the five are an exploded view of the neck, of the entire neck of the guitar. Um, so this is the, just the second unit that's in there. And this one, there's all kinds of examples of famous players like Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix and Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton. Um, you know, lots of famous songs where they're using that particular shape um, to do their soloing in. Now when you practice this shape, be sure that you alternate pick with your pick. You need to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You have to go back and forth when you're playing through it. Okay, so here is lick number one, okay? I'm going to play lick number one for you out of my book. It goes like this. Notice how I put the, the bend in, in the bends that are in the tablature and also the last note do not have any kind of, of a vibrato on them. There's no marking for vibrato. But um, just take liberty, especially when you're on the last note of a phrase or a section, take liberty and go ahead and do a vibrato like this. Okay, so here's lick number two. Lick number two again. Number three. Lick number three again. Lick number four. Now this one, there's two different picking schemes. You can either go straight down or back and forth, and you can get a different effect with this lick. I'm going to do straight down at first. It sounds like an ending or a turnaround. Now I'm going to do it where I go back and forth and it has a different feel to it. So that's a pretty interesting way of being able to play that particular lick. Okay, now here is lick number five. Lick number five again. Six. Lick number six again. All right, here's lick number seven. Lick number seven again. Number eight. Lick number eight again. All right, here's lick number nine. Lick number nine again. Number ten. Lick number ten again. All right, now here is lick number eleven. 
Robin. Kind of bobbled that up a little bit. Let me try lick number 11 again. All right, here's lick number 12. Okay, lick number 12 again. All right, and then I'm going to go over here to lick number 13. See, the second time I used kind of a different, you know, phrasing when I was doing it. And that's something to keep in mind, too. When you're working on these licks and playing along with backing tracks, the idea behind the licks is to prime the pump, to give you ideas of what you can use the scale shapes for. So you can experiment with the phrasing, how fast or how slow you go when you're playing through it. Okay, number 14. Number 14 again. Okay, so here's lick number 15. I like that one. Number 15. All right, then lick number 16. Number 16 again. All right, have fun playing those.